Hey, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rikaku, Adash. I want to give double honors to the elders and Apostle Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who is pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all. So, yeah, before uh, we turn this around a little bit. Yeah, as y'all can see, it's really super dark back there, man. Uh, the lights are actually off. They've been off for like two, I don't know, almost an hour and a half at the at the at the most, you know. Yeah, I had to. I came down here to set up camp. I had to. I had to drive all the way back home, you know. And power, the lights was off and everything, you know. And uh, I'll pray to you how about Shemasha. I was able to leave my signs here, you know, because I be I be praying, man. I pray to you how about Shemasha, you know, to ask this heavenly host of angels to encamp round about them that fear the Lord, you know. Asking the Lord to protect us from all these damn demons out here because we understand the power of the Lord. We understand it's not a, a, a sparrow that falls out of the sky without the Lord's consent. And that's, that's, and that's what we're coming into, you know, this understanding that we're coming back into in these last days. So, you know, um, yeah, this, this, this darkness right here reminded me of a, a play. Well, not a play, but a poem. Uh, when I was like in middle school or something, going to high school, I think I had to... Uh, recite a poem for this this uh, this this school to get inside the school is like some kind of special school bro and uh, you know through the spirit bro and this that is the spirit man I I re I re memorized this poem the creation by James Weldon Johnson beautiful beautiful poem the creation by James Weldon Johnson if y'all if y'all never heard it it's really cool man and it just uh, this 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 right here reminded me of this and driving home in the dark and all that stuff with with no street lamps I just want to read just a little bit of it, um, okay? I hope I'm not going off on doing this. And it says, uh, and God stepped out on space, and he looked around and said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world, bro. And as far as the eyes of God could see, darkness covered everything. And this is the point I want to make. It was blacker than 100 midnights down on a cypress swamp. It says, and then God smiled, and the light broke, and the darkness rolled over to one side, and the light stood shining on the other. And God said, that's good, you know? So, you know, it's just, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a little poem, you know, um, this guy wrote, shit, he wrote, did, did he say he wrote, no, he was born in 1871, but I just thought that, I always, I always remember that part, blacker than a hundred midnights, down on the Cypress Swamp, you know, because in the beginning, Yahweh Shemashai, you know, it reminded me, that I thought, I think, I think of it as being the spirit, man, you know, before, way before we came into the truth, you know, the Lord is, been doing things in our in our lives you know he's been he's always been there bro he's always been there for me and I was I found myself you know thinking today and, and praying and uh, just being super thankful bro super thankful for this truth for um Shemashah calling us out of darkness into this modest light and looking over all the things that he's done for us in, the, in our lives bro I can where's my little rag in man shit I had a sweat rag somewhere where in the hell is it Salaki bro hold on There it is. Yeah, see, like I said, it's so damn dark over here, you can't see shit. You know? All praise to you, Yahweh Shemashah, even for these lights. You know, the Yahweh Shemashah had me get these lights, and I, you know, up kept upgrading to different lights. I used to use batteries, and the Yahweh Shemashah had me, had me get these lights here. That they, they charge last for a long time, bro. These are some real nice lights, man. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the let's get into the live cam. I'm just you know I was just, like I was saying I was so so, so thankful for you how about working in our lives, bro. Like he said, you have received benefits and have not known me, you know. But now we we are coming back, getting to know you how about being able to serve the Lord with tr in truth and sincerity, bro. Um, so the uh, live camp is based off of uh, this comment. That this brother, uh, this brother, uh, New Jerusalem, is a brother New Jerusalem. I've been watching him for for a few for a minute, man. I found him, I don't know, a few weeks ago. This brother named New Jerusalem. Uh, y'all, if y'all see me reposting, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If I, if you see me reposting one of his videos, because the brother, the brother be bringing it out, bro. You know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah. 
Uh, so anyway, he said uh, he said something, and he he was talking about how we're in the flesh, right? And uh, he was like, if you see a pretty woman, you know you're gonna look at that ass. Some he said something like that, but I, it just stuck with me. You know you're gonna look at that ass. I almost want to make a whole epistle about it. You know you're gonna look at that ass. You know, no matter how much we try. And you know, but we're we're men in the end of the day. No matter how much how much you know, because we, we we do practice, we rehearse the righteous acts. You know, we we always have to rebuke ourselves in this carnal flesh. We always have to look away. But your ass going, you're gonna uh, you're gonna be trying to ah. Uh, but we're, to be you know, to be honest, you're gonna look at that ass, bro. Uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna rebuke yourself. Be like, no, is she married or oh, shit? You know, all the, all these things gonna run through your mind. You know, going through the going through the scriptures because the word of the Lord is in us so it's not like we be trying to go off or anything like that but we in the, we in this flesh and that's what, we, that's what we're bringing out today okay through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemasha Lord willing is going to be edifying and exhorting brothers and sisters okay and I want to th thwart Yahweh Shemasha for bringing us out tonight and putting the spirit on us to, to, to come out I heard that uh, last night big brother elder said uh, a fisher turned hunter you know has it seemed to have stopped doing the work man and I went to check this channel today and sure enough yeah it's been like three months ago you know and that's why we be man that's why we be hoping and praying Lord please don't take that Holy Spirit away from us please allow us to endure to the end because it's very serious bro and you we don't know if we're part of that number man you hear me say it all the time because I be like you know and that's what we're about to get into right now I, you know I'll be like man that's what this epistle is really talking about, really, okay? And that's that's the spirit right there as well. Cause we we heard in the past, uh, brother, you know, one 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 minute you you in the you're in the truth, you're doing the work. We seen we seen these guys come off, then they come come back, uh, being got mockers and scoffers, talking about their King David, or either they're coming back against the elder apostle Great Millstone, or talking about we in the new covenant, all kind of. All kind of seducing spirits out here, bro. So, man, it's it's definitely a fight, and it's all of the will of Yahweh Shemal Shah. That's why, you know, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You know, that's why, you know, we, man, to the best of our abilities, we right to just man fall down seven times, but he get back up. You keep praying to Yahweh Shemal Shah. We, you know, sincere, being sincere, being in truth, being open and honest with yourself, and also with Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. You know, just trust and hope and praying. Believing and just falling to the to the mercy of Yahweh Shemasha. That's all we can do, bro. But having that, un, it's really having the understanding of Yahweh Shemasha. Not taking this truth for granted, you know. And that's what we're coming so hard against the false prophets about too, because that's our job, you know. That's part of the gospel. That's what we've been talking about. And the brothers were speaking about that last night. Uh, JMS Dallas camp, man. Night. I'm gonna turn the audio down tonight. It seemed to be. I thought I had it pretty good but it looks like it's getting a little hot hot okay you know hello one two three test 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 come on there we go that looking a little bit better okay so look let's go get the scriptures where my glasses at second Corinthians chapter second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 whoa 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 hold on let's start at verse 6 it says, For Yahweh Shemashah, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. What's that? Isaiah chapter 60? You know? Arise, shine, for thy light is come. Darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the light shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, bro. So look, uh, first, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6. For Yahweh Shemashah, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts, in our minds, right? You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh Shemashah in the face of Yahweh Shah. Okay? Then it goes on the point right here in verse 7. But we have this treasure in earthland vessels, right? We have this treasure. We have this truth. We have this knowledge. We have the spirit of Yahweh Shemashah. We have this power in earthly vessels bro that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh Shemasha and not of us and that is the, the last part is what we wanted to focus on that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh Shemasha and not of us okay this now 
This is not of us. I say it all the time. This is not of us. This is not of us. It's the spirit of the Lord for his name's sake. The Lord has already declared the end from the beginning. We're talking about some predestination going on over here. You know, we're talking about a lot of different uh, things that's happening. Prophecy being fulfilled. Uh, hold on, bro. I want to get that in the NIV. Let's see what it says in the NIV real quick. Because we got it right here. I almost wanted to get it in the, G, in the uh, Good News Translation, but let's try, check it out right here. In the, in the NIV, it says, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this is all surpassing power. To show that this all surpassing power is from Yahabah Shemashah and not of us. Okay? Yeah, this, this power is of Yahabah Shemashah and not of us. And that's why, you know, I open up with that, with that story. You're going to look at that ass. Hey, the, the light just came back on. Oh, look, 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 it looked like it's coming on on sections because it's, it, now it went off in crew, and went, went off in town. You see that? So now it's dark in town. Like, uh, I thought that was going on. It's dark in town. But uh, now the lights are, are on over here for us on this side. You know, because this, this wicked ass kingdom, bro. <laughs> we can't wait to get up out of this place, bro. Oh, man, that's another one, brothers and sisters. Yeah, the brothers, man. The brothers, um, GMSP the flock, man, they, man, they, they, I got a, Lord willing, I'll be able to cut out a little section of their live camp today. Oh, they were talking about the kingdom of heaven. Uh, you know, they were talking about, you know, just wait and how wonderful it's going to be. How, um, you know, those that stand so still for the, for the name of Yahweh Shemashah, we're going to get a, 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 a great reward, bro. Uh, how nations and, 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 and people are going to come bow down to us. We're going to be kings and priests. It's gonna be gods on the earth, bro. So you know, it was just so beautiful, bro. I wanna, Lord willing, I'll be able to cut that section out and repost it tomorrow, man. Lord willing, uh, having a little trouble with some software. These damn greedy damn devils. First, they get you to sign and pay for a, something called a perpetual plan, right? So with so with certain software, you can buy it, and it's supposed to be for the whole lifetime. You know that you don't never have to pay because you you paying a, you know a good little chunk of change, right? But then, of course, the greediness of these damn devils, how, and you know, that shows you how they break contracts. They, they create these laws that they break, you know, like the, uh, what they did to the, to the uh, brothers, the, the so-called Native American Indians, and all them treaties they broke. They, they, Esau has not changed. That's why his rust does, you know, the scripture speaks about how his rust, uh, you, let me go get the scripture. His, you'll see altogether that his rust is not faded away. He's, he's, he will not change. It says, "Never trust our enemies." So yeah, they're trying to make us pay again. So it looks almost like as if you got to buy the whole damn thing again. That's what they're pretty much saying. Talking about some this. This is different software or something like that, man. At the end of the day, we know they're dead damn devils, you know. Yeah, this is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha, chapter twelve. Verse 10, it says, never trust thine enemies, okay? Never trust thine enemies, for like as iron rusts, so is his wickedness. Right, and that's another thing right there, see? This is this treasure in earthen vessels right here, to even know that we got enemies, you know? To even know, to believe in what the word, the word of Yahweh Shemash I say. Not trimming our ways to seek love, not trying to be politically correct and nothing like that, but just trusting in the word of Yahweh Shemash Unlike somebody we know, we know what I'm talking about, Bishop Nate. You know, no, we don't hate the Edomites. No, we don't hate the Edomites. We, we, we God hates the Edomites. No, yeah, how about you? I say, hey, never trust thine enemies, for like as iron rusts, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou, ha thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee. Least when he have overthrown thee, he, sta he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. So who would, who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? That's right. Hey, you stay your ass over there, Esau. You know, once again, like the brother from Dallas was speaking about last night. You know, they... You know, they, they will fucking use you as much as they can. And when, when they threw at you, 
you know, any kind of business agreement or whatever. Don't forget, we, we, Jacob, that's Esau. They're our enemies, bro. They don't give a damn about us. You know, they hate us. You know, that's just the way it is, man. And that's how the story goes. But let's, let's go back to us. Let's go back to the 100% truth. Let's go back to what we were speaking about over here. And Lord willing, you know, I'm not all over the place tonight. Uh, you know how it is, brothers and sisters. So once again, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. It says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency and power of, of the power may be of Yahweh Shema Shai and not of us. So this, this everything that we, we're doing right now, this, this great awakening, um, you know, the spirit of the Lord, this, this, uh, the prophesying, everything is of Yahweh Shema Shai, bro. Okay? And not of us. Almost, I should have bookmarked that because I might have to be coming back to that thing right there, bro. I think I will do that. Okay. So like, hold on, bro. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Now I want to jump over here. to Romans chapter 12 verse 3 almost wanted to jump down though yeah Romans chapter 12 verse 3 for it says for I say through the grace given to me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as Yahweh Shemashah has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Okay? For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Yahweh Shah and every one member one of another. Okay? Having then gifts diff diff deferring according to the grace that is given to us where the prophecy let us prophesy according to the portion of faith or ministry let us wait on our ministering or he that teaches on teaching or he that exhorteth on exhortation he that giveth let him do it with simplicity he that ruleth with diligence he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness let love be without this dismulation abhor that which is evil cleave to that which is good bro be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Okay? Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving Yahweh Bashim bro. Rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulations, continual instant in prayer. Okay? That's what we're talking about, bro. It says, uh, distributing to the necessity of saints, giving to hospitality. Bless them that persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. And weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but can condescend to, uh, to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Okay? Alright? It says, Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Okay? It goes on, hey, we got to read it, we got to read it, bro, because it's beautiful. It's music to the ears. And this, this is the body right here, bro. This is us. This is that one body. This is, this is who's my mother, my brother, my sister, okay? This is being able to really show brotherly love and be affectionate to each other. Grab, grab a brother, man, y'all, oh, you see the brothers in the camp, man? Man, they, they, these brothers love each other. You can tell, man. That's camaraderie. That's really... Brotherly love right there, man. That's the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai in the, in the men of Great Millstone, bro. This is the mighty work of Yahweh Shema Shai, brothers and sisters. Y'all can, you can see it on the brothers. You can hear it. You can hear the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai through these brothers, bro. Come on, y'all. So this is uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. But rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, said Yahweh Shemashah. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. 
If he thirsts, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Uh, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's right, bro. So this is it's a balance to these things. It's a it's an understanding that comes with all this, you know. Because the scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes said, "Hey, help not a sinner." You gotta you gotta have balance in these things. And of course, the spirit gonna be on you a certain time to do certain things, you know. The spirit gonna be on you a certain time to do certain things, and uh, sometime not, you know. Amen. Night night. So look, I want to go back to ver that verse three real quick, and we're gonna come back around. So this is uh, Romans chapter twelve, verse three. For what I say. Through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as Yahweh Shemashah had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Every man, faith, true faith, true, true understanding, through hope, true hope of salvation. You know, and that's something that we have in this body. That's something that we have been coming back, being reborn, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's like we were speaking about yesterday, uh, being uh, my servant shall eat, you know? Uh, and we are serving the Lord Yahweh Shemasha with fear and trembling. We're serving Yahweh Shemasha with our whole heart, you know, being obedient to the word to the best of our ability. So these things are in us, bro, and it's it's just a most beautiful thing, brothers and sisters. The Lord has truly blessed us, man, and that's why I was speaking about it earlier, just a, just a minute ago. How I was just I had to sit down, you know, and just think and just pray to the Lord and say thank you, Yahweh Shemasha, and and recall. All the, you know, a lot of the situations in my life that, you know, the ups and downs, the all the things that the Lord has, has, has given me, some things taken away from me, the experiences I've had, man, through through and all through the Spirit of Yahweh Shemasha, for the perfect, like you said, uh, let the multitude perish. And I think did we bring this out yesterday? Let the multitude perish. Oh, I, th I think I was thinking about another epistle, maybe that epistle off camera. Let the, you know, let the multitude perish, bro. That was born in vain, but let my great be kept. You know, because with great labor, I have made it perfect. That's what it was, yeah. Because the Lord is the one that's making this marvelous work. That this thing be of Him and not of us. So a man should not think more highly than he ought to think. So these these words that we're reading right here are guidelines for the true men of the Lord. Guidelines, you know, for the sons of, of, of Yahweh Shemasha. You know, for the true worshipers of Yahweh Shemasha. Hey, not to think of yourself so not highly. You know, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. You know? Because we we still subject to sin. We need we need Yahweh Shemashah, bro. The Lord say, I am the vine. If you abide not in me, your ass is gonna wither. Let's go get that. We're gonna wither your ass up and you're gonna die. You know what I'm saying? That's what we see through the spirit and the, and the power of Yahweh Shemashah out here. These guys are ooh. What does the scripture say? He that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You know, dead man walking. Dead man walking. That's what we see out here with these Israelites out here going off. Come on. I think that's in, is it John? John 3? I don't want to. Let me see, let me see. Nope. Hold on, let me just stop. Okay, it's in the, in the book of John chapter 15, uh, and we're going to start at 1. It says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. That's right, you got to be working, bro. You know, bringing the word out, singing that new song, you know, not, 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 no, not no false prophet. You know, but but servants of Yahweh Shemasha. It says, "Every branch of me that bringeth what in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away; and every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it. You know, <laughs> and it bringeth forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. That's right. We're being constantly being washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth. You know, constantly being edified, uh, getting closer and closer to Yahweh Shemasha." You know, through the Spirit, getting more understanding because it's for the perfecting of the saints. We're not going to be perfect in this carnal flesh, but our understanding. We're going to understand the perfect will of Yahweh Shemashah. That's why we, you know, we see it now.
false prophet. Motherfucker, Nick, goddamn ninja with fringes on. You know? Hey, pray not for these people. At least you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Yes, you're gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Because we got a stripper right there. What does that stripper say? Um, that servant that knew his master's will and did it not, you're gonna get many stripes. Come on, let's read this. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide, oh, here we go. Abide in me, and I in you. Then that's what we're hoping for. That's what we. That's what we want, man. Constant. Have you? How about Shemasha in us? That's why we were speaking about it earlier. You know, you're gonna look at that ass. Oh yeah, you in the you in the you, oh yeah, you're gonna be trying. You know, you're gonna be rehearsing righteous acts. Hey, you're gonna be practicing. You're gonna be you know offending less, right? You're gonna be fighting it. You're gonna, uh, uh. You gotta man, you gotta fall down. Huh? But then you're gonna repent. You're gonna you're gonna these words are gonna filter uh, your you know your life and everything through the scriptures. You know? You're gonna beat yourself up. You know, but the scriptures say, hey, let not your sins weigh you down, let not your lift your iniquities lift themselves up either. That's a balance. Okay? And that's that's the, that's your how about Shemashai in you, you know, to be able to examine yourself, to be able to judge yourself before the day of, the, examine yourself before the day of judgment, bro, so that you shall shall find mercy. So you be like, okay, I went off your how about Shemashai, please forgive me, you know. Um, but that's abiding with your how about Shemashai. That's your how about Shemashai being in you, you know, because you got as we see, you got a lot of Israelites that, that do shit. Even though they get rebuked for it, yeah, how about Shemashah not, not working with them? The Lord is not dealing with them to the point where they don't even they don't even know. They don't even give a damn. They still they keep jump up the next day, do the same shit. Put on a hat, prophesy with the hat on. I'm proud like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Still calling on Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. Still marching them down the street. You know? Because your how about Shemashah is not in them. Come on, y'all, let's go. It says, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except you abide in me, baby. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Right, if this be of men, it's going to come to naught. But if it be of Yahweh, you cannot overthrow it, baby. Okay? The Lord say, for without me, you can do nothing, right? He that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. It's going to be out there. Ninjas with fringes on. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, okay? And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Woo! So look, bro. You hear that? It's like R. Kelly made that song one time. This is a warning. This is a warning. I know I can't sing. This is a warning. If you don't stop, you know, like like how about Shemashah say, at least you repent, you shall all likewise perish. This is a warning. If you don't stop, you know, I'm serious, bro. Come on, let's go. I want to go to the book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible. Uh, Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7, verse 16. Let's start at 15. It says, all things, so Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 7, verse 15. It says, all things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perishes in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness, right? Be not righteous over much. Neither make thyself overwise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? You know, I remember the big brother elder speaking about that a while back, about you know just being too over damn righteous. You know, uh, and like I say, hey, this truth is a balance. And as you grow in the truth, you gonna you find that balance. You you come. To, hey, I wanna. Well, I remember, man. I was so thankful when Yahweh Shemashah brought me over to the elder apostle Great Millstone because when you out there listening to these bug out camps, you know. When I'm over here talking about the law, 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 got your ass on pins and needles. Oh shit! When your friend is all over the town. Oh shit! You know, motherfucker, 
goddamn armbands, all that work and shit. Oh, getting all puffed up and proud and shit. Because you don't know the spiritual aspect of it. That we are Jew inwardly. Okay? We're behind enemy lines. Right? And be not being not over righteous. That we understand that we're hurting righteous acts. That we're in the flesh. That we're going to go off. You know what I'm saying? That's why we understand we need Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shah. We need Yahweh Shah, baby. We be praying. We pray often, repent all the time, you know? Constantly in communication with Yahweh Hashem, my shy bro. Constantly begging the Lord for mercy. That's, you know, that's the balance of it right there. You know, let not your sins weigh you down. Let, your, let not your iniquities lift themselves up either. We're not just running around like the uh, trans Transmanian devil. You know, running around just being uh, bugged out and, and going off and shit like that. Like we're speaking about. Like these camps are doing, like I'm serious, bro. Like these guys are doing. You, you constantly sinning, you know, just constantly going off with your head every day, every time you do that. You, you constantly sinning, like and you, you have not repented, you have not changed. You know, these guys still calling on Christ. You have not repented, you have not changed. I'm serious, bro. So look, there's a balance. All praise to you, how about you, my shout for the understanding, for, for the perfecting of the saints. For you know us, you know trying, us coming to you, how about Shema Shah, having the understanding to come to the Lord, to pray to the Lord, to beg the Lord, to have that hope. Come on, let's go get this. Let's go get this epistle. It says, "Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself, bro?" Hey, balance. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? That's right. You know, cause the wages of sin is death. You know, you have about Shema Shah watching you. You want to be that nigga? You want, you know, the old man's supposed to be gone. You're supposed to be not killed that nigga. You know, are you killed? You still working on it? But uh, get back! Stop following me! Throwing rocks at him like in the color purple. And that, that girl, uh, sad. What is she calling the sister? Sad, sad. And the man kicked her out the house. You get your ass out of here. Get. You know, she mine now. No, she mine now. She gonna get in there. She my servant now. She gonna get in there. She gonna watch my children. You know, she gonna. She gonna do, she gonna serve me. You know, you can't, you can't be around this motherfucker. Get your ass, get your ass. You know, damn independent motherfucker. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8, verse 20. Romans chapter 8, verse 20. It says, for the creature was, was made subject to vanity. Right. It was made. We were made through the will of Yahweh Shema Shai. Created everything. Predestinated. We were made subject to vanity. For the creature was made subject to vanity. Not willingly, but by reason of him who made Salaki, but by reason of him who have subject the same in hope. Right. Let's go. Let's, let's see if we can get that. Oh shit, man. Let me see. Let's, let's go. I want to get this in the uh, NIV too, okay, bro? Romans chapter 8, verse 20. Where is it at? Okay. It says, For the creature was subject to, to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it in hope that the creature itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the glorious freedom of the children of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, bro. That's right. Coming back to the to the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, repenting, you know, under that under that under that grace and mercy, right? Under the under that blood of Yahweh Shem Shai. Being pre preordained. Let's go get it in the good news translation. Hold on. Okay. Romans chapter 8, verse 20. Good news translation. It says, For the creature was condemned to lose its purpose, not of its own will, but because Jehovah Shemashah willed it to be so. Yet there was the hope that creation itself would one day be set free from its slavery to decay and would share the generous freedom of the children of Jehovah Shemashah. That's right, man, because once again, the wages of sin is death. 
people. So we want to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. We want our sins to be blotted out. Can we go get that scripture real quick? So therefore, we continue. We, you know, understanding what the true will of the Lord is, man. With that perfecting of the saints, coming under this 100% truth, getting to know Yahweh Shabbat and His will, getting to know the, the, the storyline and what's, what's, what's going on, what's happening, you know. Oh, uh, 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47 just came to my mind. Uh, what are we going to go get right now? Shit, talking too much, bro. Um, oh. Exactly. That's what we're talking about right here. This, this is it, man. This is the bomb right here. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 32. Come on, man. Well, let's get it in. Uh, it's got it in uh, Psalms 32, verse 1. I'm just going to read it real quick. It says, Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sins is covered. Blessed is the man unto the, whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile, bro. His spirit. You know, like we were saying today, you know, like we were saying earlier, you know, you go, hey, you're going to look at that ass because you're in this carnal flesh. You're going to go, you're going to go off. You're going to make mistakes. You know, a just man falls down seven times, but he get back up. But your spirit, you know, in your heart, of, you know, in your heart of hearts, you know, in your mind, because you have a is in you. You know, you'd be like, oh, shit. What does the scripture speak, speak about? Uh, a righteous man knoweth when he slippeth. Something like that. Let me go see if I can get that real quick. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, Ecclesiasticus chapter 21, verse 7, it says, An eloquent man is known far and near, but a man of understanding knoweth when he slippeth, okay? Okay, I want to read it one more time before we go back. An eloquent man is known far and near, but a man of understanding knoweth when he slippeth, okay? Knoweth when he slippeth. So let's go back. Blessed is the man whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man until Yahweh Shemashah, and this is Psalms chapter 32, verse 1. Blessed is the man whom until the Lord Yahweh Shemashah imputeth not iniquity, you know? Which is sin upon sin upon sin, and whose spirit there is no guile. And then uh, they got it again in the book of Romans chapter 4 verse 7. It says saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Uh, blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Okay? That's what we're talking about, bro. Because we, we want to be, and we need to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. You know? Uh, and this is not of us. You know? The scripture speaks about, uh, let, me, let me see if I can go get it. It's in, uh, it's in uh, Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, bro. And not of yourselves is it the gift of Yahweh Shem Hashai. So the Lord, all the Lord commanded us to do is, is number, number one, first and foremost, to have faith in Him. To believe. You know? When you believe, there's an action that goes along with that belief. You know? Yeah, you, you say, okay, I believe. So you're saying that the Lord's going to come back. You're telling me that, you know, trans transatlantic slave trade. Everything that's happened to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American is as an answer for that. You know, there's a reason why we're at the bottom. There's a reason why there's an Arab, the Arab owner of this big-ass damn grocery store right, around, right across the street. You know, now he's bought this other building over here as well. And he done put up some little hotels in it too, you know. But, but you got Jake over here. Been over here the whole damn life. You know, still hand to mouth. There's a reason for that. We're under the curses, yes. But the Lord said, this is the grace. We have hope. 
of salvation. It's not going to be like this forever. The Lord's coming back. You know, what can I do? What can I do, you know, to inherit the kingdom of heaven? You know, and so it, with that tidbit of information, you know, you will seek the Lord's face like commanded. The Lord said, seek my face. He said, eat the whole roll. He said, come and get to know me. You know, learn of his name. Learn his name. Repent and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You know, continue to watch the videos of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone and be washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth. It's for the perfecting of the saints, baby. So we all be on one accord, all having the same mind, all speaking the same thing, all waiting on you. How about Shema Shah? You know? And once again, you know, not being over, not, not being all, all puffed up with pride, you know, because the scripture speaks about how knowledge puff it up. But we got to stay humble. Let's go get a scripture real quick. Where my glasses at? Uh, hold on, bro. I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna use the phone real quick. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus in the in the Apocrypha, chapter three, verse eighteen. It says, "The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord." Yahweh Shem Hashem. That's what we're talking about. We want we want that favor. You know, we want that favor. I gotta drink some water, bro. Real quick, y'all. Hold on. We want that favor. We want we want our sins to be blotted out. We want our sins to be covered. You know. We want that mercy. We need it. We need Yahweh Shai. We need to be covered by the blood of the Lamb in these last days because we believe the report, bro. And it's all dealing with balance. It's all dealing with balance. How's the audio? Let me let me take let me bring it up a little bit more. Uh, you know you can hear that generator over there kicking though. I hope it's not too distracting. But that shows you why is the generator still on? If the power is on. Oh maybe. What the hell? I don't know. Then I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go to the book of Isaiah. 55 verse 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it, bro. Okay? I gotta read some more. I gotta keep reading, bro. For ye shall go. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on. So lucky. Let's let's jump back. Let's jump back. Cause this is a perfect time for this. Let's jump back to Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, right? Cause you know we got, you know, of course we out here on the highways and hedges to compel them to come in, make make these epistles throughout the week, you know, to to give the children of Israel the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American his warning, you know, to also to exhort one another, you know, to feed the Lord's sheep, to edify ourselves, you know, to to do the work in the service of Yahweh Shemasha, which is our reasonable service, you know, to condemn this wicked ass world, and we're telling the children of Israel about the sad perils that's about to happen, the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, World War III, all these things, of course, we speak about this quite often. The implementation of the MARK, which is the CHIP. So we're try trying to tell the children of Israel, come back to the Lord to find, get that refuge, to get that protection. Once again, you have about Shema Shai, you know, say two-thirds of the children of Israel are going to get cut off and die. So at least you repent, you shall all likewise perish, bro. You know, so seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. Yahweh Shema Shai. This is that time for us to come back to the one true living God, bro. That's why I was like thankful and happy. And, you know, so, so happy, man. To be, you know, to be an Israelite. To be a prince of the power, bro. To, to, to be a part of the ministry. 
to have the understanding of the promises that set before us, you know. You know, to to to, uh, to have this this time, you know, to let not mercy and truth forsake us. All these things, you know, to 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 be doers of the to be doers of the word. Now here's only, you know, as, as we bring out all the time, happy Israel are the things for the things that are pleasing to the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah made known to us. And the Lord has blessed us to have enough understanding to examine ourselves, you know. To try. To get up. You know? Come on. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his his own thoughts, bro. You know, the scripture speaks about uh how uh the the mind, the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it, bro? You know? This Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not on thy own understanding. It says, let not the wicked forsake, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his own thoughts. Let him return into the Lord. Right? That's why we were speaking about earlier how we want the, the, the spirit of the Lord, the, the words of Yahweh Shema Shah, Yahweh Shah to be in us. You know, so we can always examine ourselves, so we can always snap back to Yahweh Shema Shah, so we can walk in the spirit, so we can always say, oh shit, I went off, I slipped up. The Lord said, we, should, we, we shouldn't be doing that, we should do this. You know? So we, we're forsaking our own thoughts, bro. And let him return into Yahweh Shema Shah, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon, right? Because don't forget now, the Lord's going to put the laws in our inward parts in that second covenant, bro. So now we're rehearsing the righteous acts, okay? It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, said the Lord. For I ask the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts, okay? It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not, Thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth the bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. This is the point I want to make right here. So shall my word that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it, bro. So, hey man, all of the words of Yahweh Shemashah is pure. The Lord has made these words known to us. You know, he's given us this, this confidence, this hope, this faith in him. You know, that you know, that's why the scripture say, uh, he that cometh to Yahweh Shem without faith, you said uh, without faith is an impossible to please the Lord. Because he that cometh to Yahweh Shem must believe that he is, and he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You gotta believe that the Lord is all powerful, that what he said goes, period point blank. And that's why, you know, man. That's why we were able to, you know, just through the Spirit, return and discern between those that serve the Lord and those that serve Him not. And just call them out for it immediately. Motherfucker, your ass going off. Nigga, you're going off. You done, you done messed up. You know, repent. You know? That's what, man, and that's, that's power because it's the word of the Lord saying that these things going to happen. Esau, you done messed up. It's the end of your kingdom without a shadow of doubt. You know? All these other nations, these dogs... You know, licking up the licking up on our wounds, it's over. <laughs> the kingdom of heaven is at hand, baby. You know, so all praises to you have my shot for this truth, bro. So come on, let's go. And once again, we have this treasure in earthen vessels, baby. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that is that, 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 that let's go get that scripture because I got a bookmark. Let me see real quick. I thought I had a bookmark. Hold on. I done messed up. Man, some kind of way I messed up the bookmark, bro. That's okay. We got it right here. Okay. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. It says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power of Yahweh Shemasha may be of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh and not of us. That's right, man. This is the power of the Lord and not of us. This is for his name's sake. This is his story. This is his will. And I want to jump over here to Psalms chapter 150. Hold on. Psalms chapter 150. Let's let's just read it cuz it's a short chapter. Psalms chapter 150, the last chapter in Psalms. It says, Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Praise ye 
Praise God, Yahweh Shemashah, in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him in his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the with the salt psaltery and harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Yahweh Shemashah. Praise ye Yahweh Shemashah. Right. And you know, uh, when I read that now, for the perfecting of the saints, the Lord has given them pastors from some prophets, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. So when I read that scripture now, I think about the brother, the elder mysteries of the kingdom. He said that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Who's got breath? You know? The 144 hopeful elected one third of Israel, the Lord has blessed us and, and blowing his, his breath of life into us. And now we're made alive, bro. Everybody else is in the congregation of the dead. They still out here, dead bodies. They, they black folks. No, wait a minute, they niggas. Hold on, nope. They West Indians. Wait a minute, nope. They motherfucking, uh, <laughs> they, they, they are Puerto Ricans. They're Puerto Ricans. No, they're Native American Indians. Everybody else, so let everything that has breath. You know? Even some of those are the circumcision. They're still black Hebrew Israelites. So some kind of crazy, they gorilla Hebrews. They such and such. No, but the Lord has blessed us to have breath to return to him. The scripture speaks about uh, the election have retained it and the rest are blinded. The scripture speaks about only a remnant is going to return, bro. So let everything that has breath praise your Habashim And you know, that's in the, uh, let's go get that in the book of Ezekiel real quick. 37 just get that little part if I can get it real quick um, Okay, I want to just go to the point I think I'm gonna jump in here to verse 7 maybe so I prophesied as I so Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 7 so I prophesied as I was commanded and I prophesied, and there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I behold, lo, the shinus and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Right, so you got a lot of Israelites waking up in the last days. They know they're Israelites, but there's no Holy Spirit in them. That's why they're still carnal. That's why they're still running around, marching up and down the street. <laughs> Look at us. Oh. The fringes, you see the fringes, and uh, uh -huh. but there's no, there's no, there's no spirit. There's the Holy Spirit in them, bro. So look, and I prophesied as I, as I was commanded, and I prophesied, and there was a noise, and behold, the shaking and the bones came together, bone to his bone, and when I beheld, lo, look, the shinus and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, prophesy. Until the wind prophesy, son of man. That's right. So we out here, you know, on the highways and hedges, whether they hear or whether they forbear, right? Because you know what? The scripture speaks about in the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10, to whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of Yahweh Shemashah is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. So those with the ear to hear, my sheep hear my voice, they're going to come. This is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. But those that love the light, they're coming to the light. They're gonna come to you, how about you, my child? They're gonna say, we, we, yeah, we need some help. We, 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 we sick, you know? Please help us get off these cigarettes. Please help us not being so, so carnal. Please help us get, you know, get, let, let go of that old man. Stop doing all this bullshit that we've been doing. Please, you know, put the spirit in us. They're gonna come begging to you, how about you, my child? They're gonna repent. They're going to seek the Lord's face as commanded. Is they're not going to be all puffed up with pride because they, they learned that the Israelites, you know, they're going to go, they're going to continue to go, bro. You know, growing in the faith, abounding. Okay, being well rooted and grounded in the faith, understanding His will. Being afraid, having the fear of Yahweh Shemashah, okay? That's the difference, bro. So, because why? There's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Right? So if you, you know, because the scripture says, so I prophesy. We still, we're just bringing out the word. Whether they hear, whether they forbear. You know, Elder Apostle Great Millstone been on the highways and hedges for 35 years plus. 
Just bring it out. And all they hear it shall come to life. But you're gonna have some Israelites that it don't sound good to them. They wanna hear them sweet words, so they're gonna they're not gonna listen to that, right? They're gonna go uh keep up to themselves, pastors having itchy ears. And uh, you know, that's what they're gonna they're gonna go to the false prophets. They're not gonna be watching clean and baptized with this word of truth. And it's plain. Check it out. Then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind. That's right, just bring it out. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, Come up the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live, baby. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came upon them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army, bro. That's what we're talking about right there. And we're not talking about, we're talking about, um, let's go to that Zechariah, right? No, Zephaniah, Salaki. That's right. Zephaniah chapter 2. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire, before the degree brings forth, before the day passes your chain, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be that ye shall be here in the day of the Lord's anger. Okay? And that's it, bro. That's it. You know, in a nutshell, that um, that just showcase. Oh, I. You know what? You, we might as well go all the way. We all. We might as well go all the way. Let's go ahead and get that Daniel, chapter twelve, just to wrap that part up. Daniel chapter twelve, verse two. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Right. The bones, you know, bones of my bone. Scared of my. Hey. Some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Some of them gonna have that breath, and some of them not gonna have that breath. You know? Come on, let's go. So let everything that has breath praise Yahweh Shemashah. Truly praise the one true living God. You know? Truly understand. Uh, because as you can see, you know, you got these that serve, what we, we brought out yesterday. Uh, they serve their own belly. They don't serve our Lord, but they serve their own belly, baby. You know? But everything that has breath, you're going to be serving the one true living God. You're going to serve the Lord with all thine heart, with all thine soul. You know, like I was saying, like I was speaking about the uh, that 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 47. I want to get Romans chapter 8 verse 24 real quick. Romans 8 24. It says, for we are saved by hope. That's right. We're not trying to save our own self with our own arm. Because once again... Yahweh Shema Shah said, I'll be in you. He's in us. And we know that's not what the Lord say. We know that that's not, the, the word the Lord does not go out void. And the Lord didn't say that. That's not a part of the story. That we're going to save ourselves by our own arm. No, we're saved by hope. But you got these guys out here with the guns and shit. They're going to, they look at all like they got to do something. You know? For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? Okay? But if we, Hope for what we see not, then do we with patience, baby. Patience. Wait on it. We just, hey, occupy till I come, says Yahweh Shemashah. Just out here. You know, get your get your house in order. You know? Condemn this wicked ass world. Compel them to come in. Just do the work. You know, and get your house in order, baby. That's all. You know? Go ahead. This is a business. <laughs> this is a business. I'm uh, quoting uh What's that? Bruce's million. This is a business. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 41. It says, Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's right. Hey, watch and pray. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit is willing, you know, but the flesh is weak. People keep doing that for some reason. Like they're out of gear right there. And right there is weird. Watch and pray. Watch. Watch out for these prophecies. Measure the time diligently. You know? Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. And pray that you enter not into temptation. Lord, please, 
No, take that not that Holy Spirit away from us. Please uh, allow us to hold that fast what they have, which we have that no man take that crown. And that, you know, that man could be yourself in, in any damn way. That old man coming, creeping up. Oh, I got his ass now. You know, all kind of crazy as shit, you know. You know, so hey, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Of course, asking, constantly asking the Lord, Yahweh Shemashi, to keep us, that we endure to the end because of what? The hour of temptation, bro. When the, when the, when the enemy is going to come in like a flood, we asking the Lord, all now, we asking the Lord now. You know? We own it, bro. We're watching. We own it. We're praying now. We're stacking up our riches in heaven. Asking the Lord to, to bless us now, to have mercy on us now. You know, to calling on them now, being like this with the Lord now. Having the Lord be in us now. Looking at the miracles right now that's performing right before our very eyes right now. In our daily lives all the time right now. Because there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without the Lord's consent. So yes, you know, watch and pray. Asking the Lord, please keep us from the hour of temptation that's going to come upon the world to try them. You know, you know, like we brought out the epistle yesterday. My servant shall eat, man. And how about Shemashi got us out here working. You know, right now, that's why you see me. I keep, I keep wiping this thing right here. What, what is that? That's sweat. Working, working, bro. We working for you. How about Shemasha? My servant shall eat, bro. But ye shall be hungry, man. We are working, bro. All praise to you. How about Shemasha? The believers are believing, bro. They doing it. They watching. They doing it. They doing the. Everybody doing what they're supposed to do. Let everything that has breath praise you. How about Shemasha, bro? That's what we talking about out here, bro. Wow. The water. The water, uh, elder mysteries of the kingdom. The water, how about Shemashah for the spirit that, that the Lord be putting on all these brothers to bring it out. Everybody got their own spirit, bro. So the Lord told us to watch and pray that we enter not into temptation because why? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You're going to look on that. You're going to look at that ass, bro. You're going to look at that ass. Like, oh, damn, what is that? Yeah, uh, hey, case in point. Last week, bro, uh, right here. Uh, you know, bring out the epistle. Man, this sweet young tender walked up and walked by, bro. I didn't I didn't really look. I'm I'm not I'm look, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to be over righteous, I'm trying to be over wicked. I'm telling you the truth, bro. You could not help it, man. This girl thighs was like, God damn, and she had on some of them old school shorts, bro. You know, like them old basketball shorts, like the the, the, the little with the little split thing and down the thing. And my god. Goodness, you you know, I, I couldn't even help it. It's the crack of my eye. That, oh, I didn't stare at her, nothing. I just, I just glimpse. I'm just telling because you gonna look, you in this carnal flesh, bro. And that's just, it's natural, okay? But that's why, yeah, but Shabbat that's why, you know, we're gonna have all them women, all them concubines in the kingdom of heaven. And it's not about that. We're gonna have, it's man, the Lord, Esau done fucked up everything, bro. Esau to turn the world upside down. This is our punishment. And we understand now. We understand these things. Now we understand about the the the, uh, the uh, you know having the 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 uh, the, the, the uh, law of rape. We understand real marriage. What it's all about. We understand um, the understanding of multiple wives. We understand the heritage of the saints. We understand uh, our heritage, our culture. We understand it now, bro. Because Yahweh Shemashah has blessed us with this truth, and we have this treasure in earthen vessels just to put it out on the table, just like that, bro. You know. And oh, another thing that brother uh, New Jerusalem said, you know, about uh, about the sisters and everything, you know, he said some single sisters out there. It's a lot of single brothers out here doing the work. Hey man, and it makes a lot of sense. Contact them and see. Big brother Elder said that before. You know, you you know, hey, put a com a link in the comment in the co description box. You never know. Check with the brother. Talk on the phone with him. Facetime or something. See what the hell happened. Because. It's getting that time, bro. Now, Isaiah 41, we don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to happen. But you think, gonna, you know, of course everything is in the, you know, man's goings of the Lord. But, hey, the brother spoke about it, you know. And if any man shall speak, the Spirit of the Lord be on these brothers, man. Come on, let's go. Where we at? Uh, you can look at this. It was a fun. That was funny, man. <laughs> when the brother said that, for real though, I was like, I was like, thank the water you have about Shemashah. You know, I was trying to be, uh, cause there's there's a serious, there's a real a real balance, man. Be trying to be over righteous and everything, and 
you know, we're trying to put our best foot forward, but at the same time, we need to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. We need Yahweh Shai. We are rehearsing the righteous acts. We're not perfect by any means at all, but we have that perfect understanding. We know right and wrong. And we, you know, like tomorrow, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shai, Shai, Lord willing, I'll be able to just make this simple epistle, you know, through the Spirit came to me. Uh, just, you know, that, that in Ecclesiasticus, uh, just the simplicity of the scriptures, offend less, you know. Those that returned, he granted them repentance and comforted those that failed in patience. Return to the Lord, forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face, and what? Offend less, bro. Just simply offend less. Cause yo, you gonna go off. The creature subject to vanity, man. We're not, we're not, no, but we're constantly doing what we're supposed to do, doing what we can, you know, having no guile in our mouth. And like Elder Yahshua say, you know, the command, which is to, to finish the work. To finish the work, man, just like how it shot, all the way through, you know. And when that time come, the strippers say, hey, some of y'all going to be cast in prison. Here are days that, that were beheaded for the name of the Lord. You know, when the time come for all these things, some of you are not going to taste of death. We don't know who's, who's, who we don't know what's going on at that time. You know, we don't know who's who. Uh, but we trust in, in Yahweh Hashem Hashem because the word of the Lord does not go out void. And he's already told us about these things. He said, don't even worry about what you're going to say. I'm going to speak through you. All these things, the Lord is already setting us up for all these things, all these different scenarios in these times. Through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, you know. But we want to enter. We want to We want to work. We want to continue to go. We want to go all the way. We want the Lord, please don't take his Holy Spirit away from us. That's what we're looking for in these last days, bro. To endure until the end. Who he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Matthew is right here. I got it right here somewhere. Right here. Matthew chapter 24, verse... 13 it says but he that shall endure to the end the same shall be saved so that's what we want to do we want to endure to the end bro um let's go to the book of isaiah i think i'm just going to quite no let's go get it isaiah chapter 33 and 6 you know that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time it says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is his treasure. That's right. That fear of the Lord is his treasure. And we have the Lord, we have this treasure in earthly vessels. The Lord has already given us an insight of the things that's coming down the pike. So that fear that we have of the Lord, that healthy fear, is prompting us to pray, Yahweh Shemashah. You know, watch and pray that we enter not into temptation. That fear of the Lord is prompting us, you know. To get it together. Happy Israel for the things that are pleasing to the Lord are made known to us. We're trying to get in the good graces of Yahweh Shemashah. You know, seeking the Lord while he may be found. Calling upon him while he is near. You know, all these things is what the Lord has commanded us to do in these last days. Let's go to the book of James. It's getting it's really quiet out here, bro. Them uh, them damn lights. Them, them lights off in town make everybody just be quiet sometime, don't they? James chapter 1. Let me see. Yeah, cause there's a few. There might be a few bars and stuff down there, uh, with some maybe some uh, generators and shit. But hey, when the street lamps are off and shit, it's just pitch dark. Fuck that, you know. And if we're talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. It might be some cities like that, man. You know. So that's through the spirit. Can y'all see it down there? See, there's one street light here, and I got these lights around us right now. And it looks a little bright over here. But when you go down that hill. That shit dark as a motherfucker down there. Let me see if I can zoom in over there real quick. Let y'all see it. Let me see. You see how dark it is down there? I'm not going to switch it up. I'm not going to. I don't want to tilt the camera or nothing to fuck up the shit. I'll just lean it back. See how dark it is down there? Okay. Let's go to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 4. Let's, let's start at uh, 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. So we're going to be going we're gonna be going to be going through a few things here and there, man. We should be happy about these things. You know? He said, count it all joy. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith works with patience. And, hey, Lord willing, man, we've been, we've been going through some things. You know? And when we go through them, we, we have a little testimony we bring out to the brothers and sisters, you know, um, through the Spirit. To build each other up in the faith and say, look, this happened to me. Yahweh Shemashah delivered me from this. Uh, this is the situation. And I, you know, did this and did this through the Spirit. And, you know, 
we, we over here prophesied and we came through on the other side. All praise to you about Shema Shai. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Right? Because knowing this, that the trying of your faith works the patience. You know, the Lord said, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing, bro. You know? Uh, but let patience have a perfect work that ye may be perfect entirely wanting nothing. Okay? That's right. Because this is for the perfecting of the saints. This is to get us ready and primed up for this time of Jacob's trouble. So we won't be anxious for nothing. So we always fall back on Yahweh Shema Shai. So we're trusting in the Lord through all of it. And yeah, we're in the flesh. Some of these things are going to be so dire, bro. It's going to seem so scary, man. But man i just i just know through the spirit you know through the experiences that i've had with different car scenarios and uh situation with with, with finances and things like that and you know uh family breaking up households and stuff and you know i just remember yahabah i remember a time when i first came into the truth i had to always constantly call on call the name yahabah shimasha you know battling them cigarette demons and all this stuff and all the kind of wickedness of the flesh and just trying to get it right man still going through it because it's all a balance you know it's all a balance bro and it's a beautiful it's a beautiful work that the Lord's doing not of us it's of Yahweh Shemashah for his name's sake okay so it's the water you know once again the water Yahweh Shemashah for this truth for everything that the Lord's doing to us for us and to us okay in these last days because as we see there's a lot of Jake's out there that's bugged out, bro. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 24. We're going to start to wind it down, bro. It says, uh, hold on, let's go, let's go back up a little bit. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is talking about us sinning in the flesh. I'm just going to jump in here. At Romans chapter 7 verse 17 now then it is no more I that do it but sin that dwelleth in me okay so when we be going off you know like we were saying we, we have no guile in our spirit we know what we're supposed to be doing the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak sometimes the flesh still gonna, gonna gonna look at that ass you know what I'm saying even though you don't want to that flesh like I gotta look at that ass you're like yeah damn it you know but I'm just saying you know I'm making it I'm making it out to be like you know kind of you know like they always say you got to have fun with it bro and when the brother said that it just made me think about Yahweh Shah and how much we need Yahweh Shema Shah you know we we need to be covered by the blood land we need Yahweh Shema Shah for everything we need the spirit of the Lord all the time man when he said that I was like you right bro you right bro okay so look verse 17 Romans chapter 7 verse 17 now then it is no more I that do it but the sin that dwelleth in me for I know that in me in that is in my flesh okay dwelleth no good thing for to will is present with me but how to perform that which is good I find not just like Yahweh Shah said there's not one good but the Father in heaven bro okay for I know verse 18 for I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing for to will is a present with me but how to perform that which is good I find not for the good that I would do I do not but the evil which I would not that I do now if I do that which which now if I do that I would not it is no more I that do it that do it but sin that dwelleth in me I find then a law that when I would do good evil is present with me okay it says for I delight in the law of Yahweh Shemal Shai after the inward man that's right man we love the law we understand the law now we hate this we hate this wicked ass world right for I delight in the law that's why you know we hate that abomination vehemently you know the scripture said love not the world neither the things that are in the world and that's how we that's how we are man because these words of Yahweh Shemal Shai are in us okay we like, we know, we're like, like he said, I'll be in you and you'll be in me. It's beautiful. Just like a, a married couple, they're, they're, they're one flesh, they're twined up. That's how we should be with Yahweh Shemashah. It says, For I delight in the law of Yahweh Shemashah after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringeth me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. And then it goes on to say, oh, wretched man. Now, this is the point I want to make right here. Oh, wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death, bro? And that's what we're talking about. That's why we need 
Yahweh Shemashah. That's why we need a Savior. It says, I thank Yahweh Shemashah through Yahweh Shah, our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yahweh Shemashah, but the flesh, the law of sin, bro. Okay? So I thank Yahweh Shemashah through Yahweh Shah, our Lord. So then, with the mind, okay? That's why we were talking about earlier. We have no guile in the spirit. No guile in our spirit, man. You know? The, 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 the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay? A just man falling down seven times, but he get right back up. Let not your sins weigh you down, but let not your iniquities lift themselves up. Okay? It says, I thank you, Yahweh Shemashah. I thank you, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shah, our Lord. So then the mind that I... So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yahweh, but with the flesh, the law of sin, baby. Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's a constant battle. It's a constant fight. Uh, let's go to the book of 1 Peter. Chapter 3, verse... 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse... If you don't get the fuck away from around me right now, bro. 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 15. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 15. Uh oh, come on y'all. First Peter chapter 3 verse 15. It says, But I say, but sanctify the Lord, how about Shemasha in your hearts? And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a question of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. That's right, man, with meekness and fear, you know. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as for as of evildoers that may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in your house shy. Hold on. I want to jump up to uh, 14. It says, let's start at verse 12. First Peter chapter 3 verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shemash are, are in every place. Salaki, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you? If ye be followers of that which is good, okay? But if ye but if ye suffer for righteous sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord Yahweh Shemash in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with the meekness and fear. That's right, man. The Lord is blessed to truly bless us. You know, um, giving us the spirit. We have not received the spirit of the world. You know, with all that, with all that bullshit of uh, that plantation Christianity, all that so-called fake-ass love, love, love shit. No, this is the word, the words of Yahweh Shemash resonating in us. So you know, um, you know, uh, and once again, there's a balance. Once again, that's the spirit of Yahweh Shemash. You know, that gives you the understanding to certain situations that you do certain things a different way, and sometimes you do them another way. You know, but it's all. In the service of Yahweh Shemasha is all in that, that walk right here, bro. Okay? Let's go to the book of Philippians. Chapter 2, verse 5. Oh, let's start at verse 4. It says... Look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shai. Okay? Who, being in the form of Yahweh, thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. Okay? And being found in fashion of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Whereby Yahweh had also also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow, 
of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father, man. That's what we're talking about. So let this mind be in you. Yahweh Shai is our example. You know, I'm about my father's business, he said. You know, so like my likewise us. You know, once again, Elder Yahshua is speaking about, you know, the command of Yahweh. It's to, it's to finish the work, bro. Just come down here, you know, waking up in these last days, not minding. What was, how does it say? Uh, Look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others, right? Uh, feed the flock. You know, edify each other. Comfort each other with these words. Feed my sheep. Examine yourself. You know, do the work of an evangelist. You know, <laughs> take hold of eternal life, bro. That's what the Lord commanded us to do. Condemn this wicked ass world. You know, we're about our father's business over here, man. And at the same time, humbling ourselves, not being puffed up with pride. You know, not thinking ourselves more highly than we ought to think. You know, going to the book of uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 9 real quick. Romans chapter 8 verse 9. It says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yahweh Shema shall dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is not of his. Right. Right. And and if Yahweh Shai be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. You know? That's right, man. We're we're walking in the spirit to the best of our abilities. You know, being separate. I was thinking about that today too, man. When I was in the car, bro, I was like. It's like a whole nother world, bro, for us. Like a whole nother world for us, man. It's like everybody else is in their own, they're in their own world, but, you know, this is our world, the world of the Israel, the world of Israel, the Israel of the Most High, bro. Our own little bubble. Our own little sanctuary, that little small sanctuary, man. You How about you, Masha, got us over here being separate and holy. You know, it's a beautiful thing. So like I said, we're about to close it out. Uh, let me see. Let me uh, let me rapid fire on this thing. First Timothy chapter six, verse tw verse twelve. It says, "Fight the good fight of faith." <laughs> I've been, you know, I've been wanting to bring this scripture out for a long time. I don't know why. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. That's right, man. Fight the good fight of faith, bro. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. The Lord has called us out of that darkness of his marvelous light. He's given us passes according to his own heart. He's going to feed us with knowledge. He's given us the Holy Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. You know, this is a true blessing, bro. Constantly understanding the blessing that the Lord has blessed us with, man. Not taking it for granted and doing all we can to please the Lord, man. This is the book of Psalms chapter 34. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him, bro. Period, point blank. Ain't that beautiful? Let's read it one more time. This poor man cried. That's right, we crying. Like, we are talking about the whole this whole epistle. You know, stacking up our riches in heaven. Asking the Lord now for mercy. Asking the Lord to, uh, uh, please don't take his Holy Spirit away from us. You know, the deliverance from the from our enemies. Please make our enemies be at peace with us while we're here on this in this wicked ass world in the in, in our in our enemy's hand. Please come and deliver us from the enemy. You know? So we're crying out for these things. You know, please keep us safe away from around these damn wicked ass two-third niggas. You know, please keep us away from them damn moles. You know? That's that's a testimony too, bro. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord, Yahweh Shemash, is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. That's right, bro. You know, there was a scripture say, oh, oh Lord, Yahweh Shemash, take, remove from, from, remove from, from me, roughly paraphrasing, vanity and lies. You know, give me, feed me with food convenient for me. You know. To keep me away from them damn wicked ass Israelites that's always lying. Esau eat them with their damn witchcraft and shit. Remove far from me all that stuff. You know? Because through thy 
precepts, I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way, bro. The Lord has truly blessed us to trust in Him, to believe in His Word, bro. Just like that, man. Okay? Let's go to the book of, uh, I almost want to paraphrase it. That Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. That's right, man. Because we right here, holding fast to that what we have, doing the work as a commanded, you know, getting back up, you know, falling down, understanding, having that balance, just trying, bro, rehearsing the righteous acts, holding on to Yahweh Shema Shai, showing brotherly love, man, being together on one accord, for His name's sake. All of this is for the, the Lord's name's sake. This is His will, you know? He said He's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. Keep us, you know, put the Spirit on us to resist taking the M-A-R-K, bro. Ain't that something? Ain't that something, bro? You know? And I think, uh, let's just, uh, we're going to close it out. I think I'm going to get one more scripture. I want to go to Luke chapter 12. verse 47 real quick and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself see well, hey man Yahweh Shemashah got us over here under the tutelage of the eldest apostle great millstone with that 100% truth I will get thee to the great man for they have known the will of Yahweh Shemashah understand the will of your Lord you know and being doers of the word not here's only you know what I'm saying as we see gotta bring it out bro these are the Israelite camps 501c3s, what have you. Not believing in the word of the Lord. You know, saying the, the book of Hebrews, not the word of the Lord. All kind of madness. You know, being disobedient children. The Lord didn't perform no miracles. You know, all kind of, all, calling on different names. Going off. Talking about the hell doctrine. Denying the M-A-R-K with the C-H-I, all, all this stuff. You know, you have not gone into the gaps. You have not prepared the children of Israel. Now I've gotten, gotten your house in order. Nothing. No repentance. Nothing. Hey. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that, that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For whatsoever, so for unto whomsoever much is given, to him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask them more. Okay? Then to close it out, I want to jump over to Luke chapter 12, verse 35. It says, Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. Okay? Hey, Amen. Turn it up. Or well, who's that? Uh, Public Enemy made that song. Tur 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 turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Hey. You know, let that light so shine before men so they can see your, your good works and glorify your Habashim Hashem. In other words, let your loins be girded about. You know, get your, you know, pull them pants up. Get ready. You know? And your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for the Lord. And when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. That's them five wise virgins, bro. Lord willing, that's us. The 144 hopeful elect and one-third of it true. Blessed are those servants. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Okay? And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so blessed are those servants. And this know, that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken in two. Be ye therefore ready also, brothers and sisters, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not, baby. You know, so, you know, we, we hey man, the Lord is blessing us to be patient. To be, become more humble, to, to have more temperance, to have more understanding, to, to let these words 
you know, resonating in us and we are applying these words to our life, man. This is that grace period that we're getting our shit together. You know, coming back to the best of our abilities as that noble vine for his name's sake, you know, and it's not of us. Because we have these treasure in earthen vessels, baby. So let's go. We're going to close it out on that scripture, man. Because that's what it's all about. Once again, Lord, we'll know that, that, you know, this was edifying and exhorting, brothers and sisters. I'm trying to get it. The bookmark. Where the bookmark at? The bookmark. It's a little piece of a little piece, a little piece of ribbon. It still does does help though. Okay. Uh, you know what I could do? I could glue or some tape, some uh, a little uh, a little uh, straw to it or something like that, and make it a little thicker. That way you can grab that thing and just open it up. Okay. Uh, First, the second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power of Yahweh Shemashah may be of Yahweh Shemashah and not of us that's right this 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 work this power that the Lord has blessed us with right now in these last days is of Yahweh Shemashah and not of us so brothers and sisters Lord wouldn't just edify in his order want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rekakwadash I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all.